Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. So today I'm bringing you a few farmhouse sheet DIYs. I really hope y'all enjoy these. Um, so let's go ahead and get into DIY number one. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this um, Valentine sign that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to pop off this metal heart. Um, I just used a little knife just to get up underneath there. And now I'm going to take my sanding sponge and just sand that even, even, and then give it a couple of coats of my Waverly chalk paint and plaster. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take this um, filler that I got from the Dollar Tree and just fill in those holes at the top because I don't want them and um, I don't want them to show on my finished project. Here I'm just gonna take my Waverly Antique Wax and go ahead and add some distressing to this piece. Um, I will go back and forth between it and the white, and then I will also just barely tap my brush in some water just so I can get that blending really, really nice and pretty. roads and up in the clouds but i've always felt that something's missing that was until i found you right there in the crowd okay so here i just um cut out a fresh flower market on my silhouette three and i am just weeding it out right here and then i am going to take pieces of my transfer tape uh, because I am out and these are extra pieces I had laying around so here you can see me having to piece them together and now I'm just gonna burnish it and pull off the transfer tape 
and add it to the piece. So in all honesty, I struggled, really struggled with what else to do to this piece. And then I remembered that I had bought these um, little farmhouse tags with the initials at Dollar General. They were a dollar each and I just bought what was left on the shelf because, hey, you can't beat the price. You get the beads and you get the little wood uh, piece. Um, so, and I'm sorry about the lighting here. Um, I'm doing this one at dark and there is really no light in this room. So you're gonna see a difference in the lighting throughout um, the rest of this video. Okay, so on the second DIY, I am taking this little tobacco basket I bought at Walmart, I believe, in their Easter section. And here I'm just taking a little piece of cardboard and gluing it so I have something to um, glue my greenery too because you know it's full of little holes and I want to make sure it doesn't fall off or anything like that so I'm using this greenery that I bought at Hobby Lobby I got it when it was 50% off so I think I paid like two or three dollars for it and uh, you got a pretty good bit on the pick um, I actually love it because it's like a boxwood but it's like it's got the dark and the light green and the white and like a little touch of pink. It's just so pretty. In fact, we're actually going to use the same boxwood in uh, Sierra's wedding bouquet. Um, so I think it's going to be awesome. Y'all, I am going to be doing a wedding series um, DIY video. So I hope that um, y'all would be uh, interested in seeing that. So I took this little scrap piece of burlap ribbon that I had from the Dollar, from, uh, dollar Tree and um, I just cut off the wired edges and kind of frayed it a little bit and then just tied it into a little bow and um, I thought that looked so cute right there on the corner um, just to finish it off. Um, so I decided that I wanted something else in the corner just to kind of even it out, fancy it up a little bit maybe. So I took the little circle tag that was on the end of those beads, I sanded it down to get rid of the other initial, and then I cut an E um, for our last name and just placed that on the little thing. And I think it turned out so cute, y'all. So, so, so cute. And now on to our final DIY. Um, I didn't press record on my phone when I was filming this video, so you didn't get to see me painting my little rolling pin. Now I got these rolling pins in a pack of three at Hobby Lobby. I used a 40% off coupon. I think they were normally like $3.99 or something like that, and I paid like $2 for it, or a little extra. Um, but I think they turned out so cute. And here is our final product or projects, should I say. I really love how these turned out. I really love how on the fresh flower market sign that those bees just give it that extra oomph. Um, so yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I tried to make it shorter um, for y'all so it wouldn't be a 25 minute long video. Um, but yes, I do love these. So um, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know which one's your favorite. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.